Hey everyone, Blake here with Gorilla Desk, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the device and barcode scanning add-on available on the Pro Plan. The first step will be to enable the add-on, which can be done under Settings and All Add-ons. Make sure that device tracking is toggled on, and then you can click on device tracking to view some of the settings. So device tracking will give you the ability to record and report on the statuses of the devices you're using in the field. Some of the options you'll have available will be paperwork, which if enabled will display device and material logs on invoices and work orders. And you can also enable trend reports, which will display an annual activity trend report on invoices and work orders. Now from the, the desktop, this is really the first step. A lot of the heavy lifting is going to come from the mobile app while you're out in the field. So let's go ahead and take a look. From the mobile app, you'll just need to open up the job by clicking on the job tile. And towards the bottom of the job, you'll see the ability to add devices. Okay, so if you click on the plus sign right here, you'll see a few options. You're able to add a device manually. You can scan a device using the barcode. You can view all of your devices and you can manage your area list, device types, the different statuses for your devices and the various activity levels, okay? So the easiest way to add a device will be to scan the barcode. And you can get your barcodes from anywhere, really. You can order a roll off Amazon or wherever you'd prefer. They'll just need to be 1D or 2D barcodes. QR codes are not supported. So to scan a device, you're just going to click on the scan icon right here. And I'm just going to use a sample item with the barcode. Now, once we've scanned the barcode, you'll be able to select the device type. If there's a device type that's not listed that you'd like to add, you'll just need to click on the plus sign in the top right, and you can enter in a new device type. For this example, we'll say this is a bait box. Next, we'll enter the area where we're leaving the device. Again, if there's a, an option that's not listed that you'd like to add, you can simply click on the plus and add an additional area as well. For this example, we'll say that this is going to be in the kitchen. From here, you'll give the device a name. We'll call this bait box one. You can attach a photo of the device if you'd like at the top. We'll see the barcode information below that's now registered. We have our area, which is the kitchen. The device type is the bait box. Below that, you're able to check the device in. You can mark the status of that device. So these options can be edited. You can customize these to be whatever you'd like. And we'll take a look at that in just a bit. However, for this example, we'll just say that the status is good. Below, you're able to set the activity level. And again, these can be configured to, to be whatever you'd like. And we'll take a look at that as well. However, for right now, we'll say that the activity level is about a three out of five. You can add materials to the device by clicking on the plus sign and choosing add material. And you can add your quantity, your methods, um, your areas treated. Your target pests. And then save. You can add additional materials as well just by clicking on the plus sign here. Below that, you're able to check the device out. And you can add notes and findings below. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and click Save. Now at the bottom of the job, we'll see that there is one device that has been checked and it's been left in the kitchen. So if you click on the plus sign, this is where you're able to manage some of the fields that we were looking at. So this is where you can add additional device types. You can add additional areas. You can manage your statuses. So if you wanted to add anything additional here, you can also delete any of these current statuses by clicking on the three dots and deleting. You can also rename them as well. And same goes for the 
activity level. So you can manage your activity level, add your own options here, or you can edit or delete what we have available. So another way to add a device would be to add it manually. And that can be done very similar to how we just scan the device. However, there'll be no barcode or scanning involved. Uh, you're just going to click on the plus sign right here and you're going to add a device. From here, you're going to go through the same steps. So we're going to add, in this case, we'll say a bait box as well. We'll choose our area. From here, everything will really be the same. There just won't be a barcode associated with the device. So you'll have to check this device manually rather than scanning it. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this device info is going to look on your paperwork. If we view our invoice and view the PDF, at the bottom we'll see our trend report because we have that enabled in our settings. And you'll see an inspection summary with the device type and the activity level, along with the inspection detail, uh, the products applied, and the notes as well. Okay, so now the next time you service this customer, all you'll need to do is scan that barcode. And since it's already been registered, it should pull up that exact device. So if we complete this job and we open up this customer's next recurring job, which in this case is going to be tomorrow, we'll now see at the bottom of the job that there is one device that has not been checked from here you'll follow the same steps you're just going to scan since this device has already been registered it will know that this is actually bait box number one and then from here you'll fill out the rest of the information following the steps that we just looked at okay so i hope that helps as always if you have any questions you can always reach us at 855-536-7470 and we'll be happy to help or you can open up a live chat. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Take care.